And then he goes, one or two. And I was like, hmm. It's probably referring to espresso shots. Was that your impression of the German language? Yes, I didn't. I didn't. That's what it sounds like to me. You gotta throw in a. Okay. Oh. What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of our. Welcome back. This is another car cast where we drive when we're driving. You get to enjoy the view while we talk and you guys hear our conversation. So today we are in where, Sada? We're in Grindelwald. This we're far from SoCal, folks. Look at how green <laughs> this is. Look at the snow and the mountains in the distance. We are we are far from SoCal right now. Yeah, we are in the great city of Switzerland. I mean, sorry, great country Grindelwald. of Switzerland. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the great yeah. country of Switzerland. Grindelwald is known as one of the main attractions of this region, of the German region of Switzerland. Yeah. Um, where there is the top of Europe. One of the ho- tallest peaks you can access. Where Isn't it the highest point in, in Europe? Is that not? Is that what it is, or is it just like a marketing term? I would hope so. Otherwise, I would hope like so. the Otherwise term "top scam. of Europe" doesn't make any sense. That's true. <laughs> and it's apparently where like um one of the James Bond zero zero seven movies was filmed. I don't know a shooting scene. Is it zero zero seven? Double oh seven. Double oh seven. <laughs> yeah, it's like apparently a fairy it was filmed tale. There, and um, yeah, there's like this like gondola that you take up to get there so you can reach that snowy mountain that we saw in the distance yeah um and then just like look at it i i guess i you know james bond is one of those people that i think kids these days wouldn't even like know (laughs) like we can we know james bond but to be honest i I know him by name i haven't really seen all of his movies i'm not a big fan i feel like it's like a few I years mean, older generation, that's like James Bond. I know, what's his name? The newer James Bond, like the newer actor, James something. I, I know, know his movies, not like the OG James Bond from like yeah. the 80s or 70s or whatever it was. Like, I don't really know him like that, but the newer one, I've watched a few of his movies. Like, yeah. they're pretty decent. Like, I mean, I feel like at this point there's like 10 of him now, so I don't know. Are you like, would you say like you're a James Bond fan? Yeah, like I like him, but I'm not okay. a fan. All right. Yeah. I, I I would categorize him in like the the people who, like O.J. Simpson that like our generation like <laughs> knows of, kind of, but didn't really like grow up with. So like the younger generation, like people who are like seven years old right now, I think when they get older they're gonna be like, I don't know who James Bond is. The equivalent Dang, of like that'd be crazy. you know like old school movie actors that our generation doesn't know. Like that'd be quite crazy, I'd say. Oh. Yeah, quite crazy. What we've noticed about our trip so far is how slow-paced everything is over here. Oh, yeah. Like, we, I don't know if it's just a obnoxious American within us, but we have no patience yeah. at all. Like, like eating eating at, eating at a restaurant, like, it's like a whole event now. Yeah. Like, it's gonna be like minimum an hour, probably more. Yeah. And I guess we're just used to like life in America where it's like, mm-hmm. you know, you get, you, you go in, you get served, they ask what you want, they check in every five minutes. Yeah. And then they rush you out of the restaurant. <laughs> very used to that. But here, like everything's very like slow paced. Like you have to ask for the check. Yeah, and you always have to ask. Barry made a funny joke yesterday where he was like, what if someone like is, has a lot of social anxiety and like just can't ask for the check? Do they just Honestly. sit there forever? <laughs> yeah, like, like I think they might just sit there forever. Yeah. <laughs> like I don't know what the solution could possibly be. Oh my god. Yeah, because it's like they would never come. I, t- I tested it. Like we were like sitting for 20 minutes. We were d- done with the food. Finished for our meal, and they now. just didn't bring the check. And I was like, oh, yep. okay. I guess this is really how it works here. Yep. Yep. Um, so that's like an interesting thing about <laughs> about Europe in general. It was like that in France too. Yeah. But I, I don't know. I feel like it's a good balance. Like it's like, oh, you're mm-hmm. patient. That's good. Yeah. It's good. By, by the way, it's. Uh, I, I wonder if you can tell in the footage, but it's raining. Well, it stopped. Or, yeah, it stopped us now, but it was <laughs> raining. This is our first car cast ever. In the rain. Where, like, we've seen some rain. That's kind of fun. I guess the, the minute we step out of SoCal, yeah. we're, uh, <laughs> we got some rain. Look at these beautiful mountains, man. It is beautiful, honestly. It's just really stunning how just majestic it, lo- it all looks. Yeah, like, it's just huge. Yeah. But yeah, lots of cabins over here as well. Lots of... M- mountain life living. Could you see yourself living? Mountain life living. Living, like, in a mountain like this? You know, I I think I could totally live in a mountain. I'm more yeah. of a mountain gal. Like I feel like there's like people who are beach people, people who are mountain people. I'm a mountain person. Like I just from mountains over most other nature related 
features. <laughs> Over like uh, beach living? Yeah. I, I could totally do a mountain. Wow, I guess we're incompatible because I'm yep, a, a That's beach it for living. us. So that's, uh, that's it for us. It's a game changer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, it's so nice. Like, I love having, okay, this is my thing. I love having like textured views. Beach view is literally just this flat water that goes on forever. That's whatever. Fair. But this is like, it's got levels to it. That's true. There's got a lot levels to, to see. it. I like seeing a view looking up. Yeah. Like, I don't like having to look down for a view. So, like, canyons and stuff are not that interesting to me. Mm -hmm. But, like, this, this is the one. This is where it's at. Honestly, yeah. I, I see what you're saying. Like, there, you could, like, stare at this view and, like, find a lot of details. Mm -hmm. Whereas a beach, like, yeah, you just see, like, the water. Just like, yeah, the sunset's going to be really pretty. You're probably going to miss the sunset and the mountain because the mountain's covering it. But... Yeah. At the end of the day, I think I'm fine with this. There was this thing called the Bel Air Hotel. That's crazy. Even oh. Bel Air is a f famous neighborhood in Los Angeles. It <laughs> made its way all the way over here. Los Angeles has a big, big influence everywhere you go. <laughs> well, another thing I really like about Switzerland is all these flowers. Oh, yeah. There's everywhere like you so go. Many nice flowers. flowers. Flowers covering the buildings. Like, it's actually very nice. Yeah. So I really enjoy that. I think it makes everything a little bit more pretty. Someone's biking? That is an intense. This is like a steady uphill climb forever. Yeah. She, she looks just, so unbothered. Yeah, she's just in jeans? Yeah, she's oh just like Oh my god, a, wow. Well, another thing I'm noticing, like we went on a hike yesterday where um, within about 2.5 miles, we did 2,500 feet of elevation gain, yeah. which is pretty intense. It's like a thousand feet per mile, essentially. Yeah. And we were like, holy crap, this is like a hard hike. But it was rated as like a moderate to easy hike. <laughs> and I'm like, and I, we saw people in jeans. Honestly. And I was like, are we weak? There, there were little kids. There were like grandmas. And we were like. <gasps> <laughs> but it was like. like. Are Europeans just like fit in general? I don't know. I think so. Yeah. I think that's what it is. Because like, I wonder if that's just like a walk. They're like, hey, you want to go on the walk? Let's go do this yeah. tense hike. Like I, I burned like 600 calories in that hike. Yeah. It's like more than my regular everyday hikes in LA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like absolutely insane. Oh, we got to talk about paragliding. So we went paragliding yesterday for the first time. It was dope. That was the highlight of the the trip so far. It was so dope. Like we're in the sky flying, or not flying. Well, yeah, no, we're flying, right? We're yeah. gliding, I guess. Gliding. We are gliding with the wind. And you get to have just breathtaking views. And what's different what is like, I think a lot of times people will be like concerned that it's like very scary and stuff, but. <laughs> not at all. I didn't have an ounce of fear. I guess maybe because we've been skydiving already, but like. Yeah, this is like nothing just, compared to It was to so relaxing. Like you're just like a bird in the sky. Like you could literally just like eat some snacks, drink a coffee. Yeah, like, and it's it like, it's comfortable. It's so yeah. comfortable. And I was talking to my, cause it was like tandem paragliding since we have no experience doing that. Yeah. I was talking to my guy, I was asking him about paragliding and he's like, yeah, like you can learn it in a couple of weeks, like get the basics down in a, a couple of weeks, like just take a class. And then after that, you just learn as you go. Like it's that easy. Skydiving is like more intense to learn on your own. Honestly. So I was just like, what? And anyway, so I'm going to learn how to paraglide is what I'm telling you guys. <laughs> yeah. um, I always see a dude in Malibu paraglidings. And I want to be him. I, I, I'm a full supporter of so not learning how to paraglide. It, like two weeks? Two weeks? Yeah. I think the hardest part is the takeoff. And I would say probably like making sure all the strings are not tangled up. Because like you could probably die if it <laughs> malfunctions. <laughs> yeah. But like we could do it. And then I'll and then Barry will be my tandem. I'll, he'll be in front of me. Oh, oh imagine we both. Oh, I just realized. <laughs> That's crazy. We could do it together. Yeah. That would be yeah. so cool. And the guy let me like steer it. And it was so fun. It was so easy. It almost looked like an arm workout. <laughs> but you just like have these two little strings on both sides. If you wanna go left, you pull left. You wanna go right, you pull right. Like it's- Simple enough. It's simple enough. You just gotta do a running start and then land on your feet. Yeah. That's it. It, it was really cool. Especially like we got to, we were in the air for like 20 minutes. It's not a, it's not, it's not a short thing. Like you just, you're, you're there for 20 minutes. And we got to have conversations with our instructor. I learned yeah. a good amount. Yeah. Like my instructor speaks German, but Swiss German. And I always thought like Swiss German and, and like they call it high German, like the German they speak in Germany. Mm -hmm. I thought it was like kind of similar, just, you know, like different dialects or something. But apparently, according to him, people from Germany could only just like pick up a few words. Like it's they, they can't really communicate very fluently with each other. Crazy out here. So at that point, like, why don't you just call it Swiss instead of Swiss German? <laughs> Honestly, yeah, it's very strange. 
And another interesting about language, when I was talking to my dude, he was talking about how, he, so he's American, he actually is from yeah. L.A. County, which I thought was crazy. Mm -hmm. That's and, yeah, small world. Yeah, and he was just like, oh yeah, so um, my son, he's 10 years old, he's fluent in German, you know, his school's 100% in German. Oh, that was a little scary. Um, and in a few years, they're going to switch to French, so he'll become fluent in French. And then in a few years, they'll switch to Italian. That's the way to do it. That's how you like, learn languages. What? We got what? screwed in America. Yeah, now we just, just learn English. English. We take a couple of years. We took like what four or five years in, in French in yeah. school, and we don't know anything. I know nothing. Because like you're not gonna learn the languages that way, or you just like spend an hour of class. Yeah, definitely not. And like don't actually use it. That's actually what someone that told us when we were doing these interviews in France, and they're like, "Oh, do you guys speak any languages?" And we're like, "No, not really. I mean, we took it in high school." And he was like, "Oh, let me guess. You only spent like a couple hours per week." <laughs> I'm like, yeah. He's like, yeah, you're never going to learn a language that way. And I'm oh, like, honestly, it. yeah, it's flawed. you yeah. got to dedicate yourself to learning the language. You can't just spend a few hours a week doing homework. Yeah. Like, it's just not going to work. Do you think we... How can we force our kids to pick up languages? Like, if we just give them, like, it's just a teacher... Ship them off to a country. Ship them off into, like, a country every few years? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then be like, hi. Is that the only way? Have fun. Yeah. Man, I don't know. Other That's things that we question. learned, by the way, just, you know, going over things that we've learned. Uh, <laughs> learning. <laughs> Travel equals So learning. anytime you use your, your, like, credit card to make a purchase oh, yeah. in Switzerland, I guess every country, you Any get country. to choose whether you pay in U.S. dollars or in the local currency. So here it's mm -hmm. Chiefs, C-H-F, Chiefs. <laughs> Swiss francs. You get to choose U.S. dollars or Swiss francs. And we've always just kind of been, like, going back and forth because we didn't know. But then we found out. The, the pro tip here is to always pay in the local currency. So pay in uh, Swiss francs if you're in Switzerland, not U.S. dollars, because the conversion rate is actually going to be better from your credit card company mm -hmm. than the like payment processor. Like You're basically going to be overpaying if you pay in U.S. dollars. Mm -hmm. so that's something we learned. Uh, yeah, I, that's, that's some LE right there. I LE actually... is life experience for any of yes. the, the new listeners out there. <laughs> yeah, I was like, dang, how many times have we used Chiefs? Yeah. And we, we did notice it once, I think, when you, we paid for parking, where it said 490 US dollars, but Barry chose Chiefs. And his credit card statement said like 430 yes, US dollars. Yes, you save. Yeah, you save whenever yeah. you find Chiefs. So, yeah, definitely do not select local currency, is the advice of the day. So, now would you say that you could get by here in Switzerland very well with just English? Oh, yeah. It's like what the instructor said. He doesn't know any other languages, like his son does. Mm hmm. He doesn't know any language. Just he's lived here for ten years. And he's gone by. I know, uh, but uh, I thought you'd say that. But I wanted to bring up the story of yesterday when we were trying to leave our hotel no. in the in the parking garage. Uh, we basically like had to, you know, you know, when you get a parking ticket, you gotta like put it into the machine oh, and then pay for it. Oh no! It took us. I kid you not. I think twenty I minutes. That, oh, it took us twenty minutes to figure out how to use this machine because the machine the was only in German yeah, it was yeah. only in German and like I the weird thing about German is that like I can't relate any of the words well Swiss German I can't relate any of the words yeah. to English it's not like French or Spanish yeah. where you can pick up a few yeah. things here and there it's just like all like mumbo yeah. jumbo like I was like, why is no... <laughs> I was like why is nothing working I kept pressing buttons I was like <laughs> I, I just panicked and then I started using multiple cards and then it started working so randomly yeah like I don't know I, I mean, I know people say you can get by in English, but I feel like I'd just be living in this constant uncomfortability. Like, I just would have to pick up some of the language. That's true. Pick up here and there. I think I think the interesting thing is you can totally get away with, you know, being at a restaurant or a cafe or a coffee shop or whatever without knowing the language. Yeah. Like, yesterday, for example, I ordered a coffee and they, they, the guy was only speaking um, Swiss German. And um, I'm reading the menu. I'm like, okay, I, I just want latte. <laughs> let me let me just say latte and see what happens. And he knew what latte was. He was like, okay. And then he goes, one or two. <laughs> and I was like, hmm. He's probably referring to espresso shots. <laughs> was that your impression of the German language? Yes, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> that's what it sounds like to me. You, you gotta throw in a. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then I, yeah, I was like, two. That was two espresso shots. I saw him do two. <laughs> And then he shows a lid to me, and he goes, "How <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> what I don't know what that was. I can't. I can't even like 
make the sounds. And then I was thinking, okay, he's asking me if I want a lid. So I'm like, yes. Yeah. And you know what? I bought my coffee with zero problems and Oh my god, how is this road meant for two cars? Honestly, everything's so small in Europe. Everything <laughs> from the small, roads to the, the glasses people. you get to, to like the glasses at restaurants for water yeah. to like the people and the the rooms. Everything is so small. The sinks, the sinks are, are so small. small. The, sinks are the so toilets small. are smaller. Everything's small. Like how? Look at this road. I thought this was a one way. But no. <laughs> yeah. Two cars can found this road, folks. Yeah. A little wiling out uh, here. Let me tell you something. Everyone's wiling. I thought wiling. I had it bad for I, I, you know it was it was stunning going from like Texas where I grew up where everything was big and spacious to LA where I was like wow this is as tight and as small as things can get. But let me tell you something. LA is nothing compared to Europe in terms of tight spaces. Oh yeah. And I'm yeah. like come on guys like Switzerland has a lot of space. Yeah. What's the problem? They just chose to do this. Honestly. They chose to make the road this small. Yeah. Let that sink in. Wow, it keeps I was, raining in random spots. I was about to say, like, oh, finally the sun's coming up, but then, then the rain's, you know, hitting us. It's just raining in, like, random spots, which is interesting. Switzerland is a beautiful place. I, I will give it that. It's, uh, it's awesome. We were, we're, you get to see some really nice nature, like, as, as outdoorsy people as we are, like, yeah. this is kind of like a, a wonderland for us. Honestly, like, I really feel like I fit in this place. Yeah. Wow. Okay, guys, well... All right. We are, you know, figure out navigating this small, tight space, and we're gonna, yep. you know, try to focus on not crashing. <laughs> so. Yep, that's fair. That's fair. So all right, that, all right, all right. Yeah. With that said, uh, you know, we'll we'll see you in the next episode. Well, you know, it's another uh, international series right now. So let's see, let's see the next place that we get to. Oh, yeah. Peace and love as always, and see you next time. Bye.